Hello, this is Martin Brossman and Greg Heyer. And we want to talk to you today about shortening your sales cycle using LinkedIn. Greg, what do you think is the most important thing for a sales professional to be doing with this? Well, I think what they should be doing is um, using it to support their sales cycle, like you said before. I think there's a, a LinkedIn is a valuable tool uh, to help you with um, uh, finding out inside information, uh, things that can help uh, dodge potential hurdles or, or pitfalls when using, um, you know, when trying to close the sale. In coaching sales professionals that have higher quotas, they need to know as much about their customer as possible. And your customer is either going to be on LinkedIn or not. You just need to look them up. And one of my favorite stories is a friend that I ran into, and he said, "Well, you saw me over there with Bob. I'm." I'm working to close the sales deal, and I said, uh, how'd it go? He says, well, we almost closed it. Uh, and I mentioned, um, I mentioned to him, I said, well, did you, did you uh, bring up with Bob that you both went, uh, got your graduate work at such and such school? He said, no, no, it didn't come up. I said, well, did you mention that you're both big fans of the Hurricanes? He says, well, that didn't come up either. I said, did you talk about the fact that you you're big in leading your own Bible study in there. He goes, well, I certainly wouldn't bring up that without his permission. Where'd you get this information? I said, I'm reading his LinkedIn profile that you should have looked up before you went to meet him. And all of this was permission granted information that you didn't utilize sitting in front of you. And he paused for a moment. He says, when's your next LinkedIn class? And he wanted to be there. So that's to me one of the pieces is you got permission granted information available to you and you need to use it and then you need to optimize your profile as well. No, oh, I think optimizing your profile is absolutely key whether you are in sales or not. You do want to be found. That's extremely important. But not only do you want to be found, but you want people to look at your profile and think that you actually care about what you do as a professional. So if you take and put one or two lines of, uh, of, of information underneath each one of the jobs that you had, but don't really go into what, how you achieved or what kind of goals you achieved or what you did for that company, people may just you know, not even take a second look at your profile. So we want to help with actually showing you how to optimize your profile by using particular keywords, understanding the zones within the profile that you need to, need to focus on with those keywords. Uh, as well as go over some of the other I advantages of using LinkedIn to support your sales cycle. One thing you can do is look at your profile as though your customer's pre-screening you and ask, would you hire that person? My favorite was another sales guy who I, I says, well, I want to learn about LinkedIn and I'm in sales and I haven't really messed with it. And I said, well, let's bring this guy up. And I said, well, he works here. He goes, oh, that's my old company. And it looks like he doesn't have any education here. And it looks like, I guess no one can say anything good about it. And it was his profile we were looking at. And what he didn't think about is this is content on the web that lets them pre-screen you. I mean, does that, you know, that's something important because we're, we're trusting brands less than ever before. We want to know more about you than ever before. Why as a high-end sales professional wouldn't you want, if you're delivering quality work, your customers to be able to check you out before you sit down in front of them. Mm -hmm. I think that goes for just you know anybody who, if they're in corporate, high-end corporate executive sales, or the average um, you know one to three person uh, employee organization. Uh, if you're an independent consultant out there who's looking for work, you want to make sure that you're presenting yourself in, a, in as professional manner as possible, even by using LinkedIn. So there's some additional things that we can uh, we can show you on how to develop your profile. So that way when someone comes to it, they're going to want to do business with you. Uh, it's not forcing them to do business with you. They, they look at, you know, for example, using some of the applications that are inside of LinkedIn. Uh, maybe you want to embed a video inside of your profile. Like I mean, yours, really like my, cool. Exactly. <laughs> on my profile, you can see that I have an embedded video inside there, and we'll show yeah. you how to do that. I mean, it's not difficult. It, it does take you spend a, you know, just take a little bit of time just to take and develop that profile, but once you do it, it's there, and you can change it whenever you want to, but once you have it done, it is there, and then Google finds you. Yeah, now groups is something that I, I really had a lot of respect for what you've done with groups, how do you utilize it. Could you give like just one, one or two tips for a sales professional with groups? Well, I think with um, groups, there's uh, the, the biggest and most powerful thing I think with groups is that if you're a member of a group, 
Um, you can just contact just about anybody you want inside there without having to actually send an invitation. So for a sales professional, if they're looking to try to get into a company and interrupt that person, uh, they can actually, you know, if they find that person they need to get in touch with, that inside person, they can scan down through the groups, look and say, okay, I have something in common with this person, I'm going to go join that group. And then when I get accepted or they automatically let you into the group, um, then you can actually go to that person's profile and send them a message without having to use email or uh, without having to, you know, to, to risk sending an invite and having it marked as IDK or I don't know or spam. So I, I think that you know, that's one thing. And then uh, another thing is that, going back to what I've said before, with having something in common, uh, you might be able to find the smallest thing in common uh, in someone's profile with their groups. Maybe, they're, uh, maybe they have a favorite baseball team like the Yankees or the Red Sox or something like that, and you are as well. Well, you can end up starting a conversation that way by being a member of a similar group where you start off on a different topic, you start to build rapport with that particular person, and then they look at you and they say, you know what, what kind of business are you in? Oh yeah, I am looking for somebody like that. Let's talk. Another piece that interests me is utilizing the questions and answers area. Most sales professionals are looking of how they get past their gatekeepers and other contacts to get in the door. Well, when you're in the questions and answers, you're actually not in, only in the door, you're in the office of the person you're talking to. So utilizing that to their advantage and learning how to mine the information from there to understand what are the concerns and issues of your clients ongoingly by just starting to utilize the questions and answers. Well, I think uh, understanding your pain points of your customers is critical as a salesperson because uh, when people are going out to look for a solution, they have a problem and you hopefully have the solution to their problem. And just breaking it down to the basics like that and going through and looking it through answers and seeing how people have responded to it and what kind of questions that other people are asking, you can actually gain some very valuable insight and be, uh, be informed when it comes to what kind of problems that they're having. One more piece that I like about LinkedIn is when you use it well, you're not only branding yourself and, and taking the good work that you've done and letting your customers check you out in advance, you're also making it easier for people to refer you and you're enhancing the brand of the business you work for. And it's a free product. So this is getting to be somewhat of a no-brainer to be involved. Mm -hmm. Well, we've covered a few points. Hopefully you've learned something about it. And the next thing is, uh, if they saw value here, how could they get more of what we have to offer? Well, I think, uh, we actually, we just launched a brand new website to, yep. help, to help with that. Uh, go to linkingintosales.com. Uh, it, there you're, you'll find we'll um, start adding some very, very valuable content about using LinkedIn, some uh, ideas and strategies in order to get the most effective use out of this power, very powerful tool. As well, uh, consider joining our group on LinkedIn. Just yeah. to go to the group search feature and type in linking into sales and uh, we'll be right there. Just request to join, we'll be happy to see you there. Look forward to seeing you online and watch for our personal websites on the screen as well. Make it a great day and uh, excited to contribute to you exceeding your quotas in sales with our work. Absolutely, and to your success.